Hi, Bernard. What do we do in this video? Uh, I think this one is going to be a short one. We enable storage spaces direct on our stretch cluster. You hope right, so. We, we would see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very short command. Um, does a lot of things, but um, should be quick if um, everything is correct. So keep fingers crossed. I, I do. So uh, if you want to know what this command is doing, it's it's doing a lot. We explain mm -hmm. that in our other video series. Uh, we want to be fast here. Mm -hmm. So um, for you to remember, I'm not typing here. I have get cluster fault yeah. out domains. Uh, yeah. Two minuses. Uh, it's, uh, one, that's a new a, a one. New, one. <laughs> One thing with the next Azure Stack HCI version, we have uh, double minuses in the mm -hmm. commands. No, we don't. It's just in Java. So we have two sites here, and that's that's the difference to our non-stretch cluster. And if mm -hmm. I now do the enable cluster S2D mm -hmm. command, and let's uh, do a verbose here, um, mm -hmm. it will recognize. No, it will not recognize um, because I'm missing a feature. And yeah. so we have to restart this recording. So okay. I didn't expect this. I, no, I It seems that I forgot something uh, <laughs> to install, right? But it's a good thing. I mean, the cluster did or the, the command did pick up that it is requiring storage replica for that stuff because we do have a stretch cluster, right? Um, exactly. Yeah, let's do it. And maybe we in speed up the video, right? So. Storage replication is the feature we need. Karsten will set it up. Um, and yeah. once we have it, then we'll do the same command again. Okay. So you may run into the same issue as we do. Um, but if you, you know, it's it's not an issue here. I mean, just install the stuff and then keep on. So it's keep, called storage replica. Mm -hmm. So we will do that. Uh, computer name. I don't know if we let's do this on this one and then we change the last digit to two, three, and four. We have to restart. Yeah, and uh, we will speed that up. We will. The restart, you mean? This and the uh, the whole Everything installation else. process, <laughs> right? So. so now I installed uh, storage replica storage on all four yeah. nodes, mm -hmm. and we had to reboot the systems. So mm -hmm. uh, here we are again. Keeping us crossed now. We can do now. the enable cluster S2D again, right? Yeah. Let's yeah, try. Yeah. Let's see. I know you laugh when we have some. Oh yeah, that that's looking fine. So you see here, um, he's he's checking if the system support S two D. That's fine. Mm -hmm. He finds only NVMe, so we don't mm -hmm. have caching devices. Nothing else. Mm -hmm. um, there's one no one disk not claimed. This is a USB device where I installed the the servers fresh. So mm -hmm. I. Uh, Fortunately, it doesn't include it in the storage space uh, stuff. Cool. Mm -hmm. And now we start our creation of storage spaces direct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's setting default default fault domain awareness to cluster storage subsystem because this is important. We have mm -hmm. two sites. So mm -hmm. now he will create for us two storage pools. One pool in each side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> because yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, and we'll we will have a look later, right? In yes, the, we will in in failover cluster manager because, um, and we mentioned this. I mean, this is the only scenario where you can have at this stage, you know, um, November twenty twenty three, more than one storage pool in an Azure Stack HCI system, right? The, um, yeah, so for Only normal... if it's a stretched Azure Stack HCI cluster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, you see it here. Mm -hmm. Node one sees 12 from 12 devices. Mm -hmm. In all four nodes, we have 
four times six devices, so 24. Mm -hmm. And he only sees the two two times six devices ah, on his yeah, side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good. that's a good indication that mm -hmm. we that it found uh, stretched. Side, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two sides. Okay. So let's have a look. Uh, first, let's do a get storage pool. Mm -hmm. And we should see two pools. Mm -hmm. uh, we see them here. The mm -hmm. primordial pools, they are there um, anyway. And we talked about that in the other series. Mm -hmm. And here we have now two new pools, pool mm -hmm. for side even and mm -hmm. pool for side odd. So, cool. Mm -hmm. And they have both the same size um, um, mm -hmm. available. Yeah? And there mm -hmm. are three gigabytes used so far, should be mm -hmm should be soon more so let's mm -hmm. do a get uh, get storage tier mm -hmm. we should see many tiers yeah um mm -hmm. we see two nested parity mm -hmm. uh, if i order them if i get it it was sort or oh, sort mm -hmm. was it sort i think so right yes sort by what by friendly name or by yeah, was it sort by? I, I don't know. No, 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 like sort. On the, and then you take the friendly name, right? Uh, yes. Sort friendly name, though. That we there see. Oh, that I missing. I that's missing. a bit friend. It's uh, yeah. So we see we yeah, have yeah. two capacity, two mirror mm -hmm. on SSD, mm -hmm. two nested mm -hmm. mirror on SSD, and two mm -hmm. nested parity on SSD. Mm -hmm. um, and we don't have the information for which storage pool this is, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. normally Azure Stack HCI cluster in a storage-based direct cluster has only one pool. So uh, printing the pool here in the default yeah. uh, overview wouldn't be helpful. It would, would be all, always the same. But here you mm -hmm. see we have two of two them. Pools. So mm -hmm. okay. question is, if we have somewhere in get storage here, yeah. Yeah, or we will see it in admin center. I mean, maybe under the extended properties, so it might not yeah, be there, displayed there will here. Be, but, but yeah, storage tier, and if we do an uh, FL star, yeah, uh, we would. I think we would have something here. Huh? No, it's not. What do you see? It? No. Yeah, it might be you know hidden under the yeah, under no, the no, no, object ID maybe. Yeah, right, under the object an, ID, and we have to good to combine it with another thing. Okay, but there's one more thing I want to show mm -hmm. you: virtual yeah. disk. Okay. Yeah, we have already four volumes. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it, in essence, it's our cluster performance history volume that we mm -hmm. pull from our uh, our theories we done before, where the cluster mm -hmm. uh, stores information every ten seconds about mm -hmm. the various performance information in the cluster, very cool. Mm -hmm. all, uh, the, all the graphics in admin center, Windows Admin Center are mm -hmm. fetched from these cluster performance history. Mm -hmm. um, but here we see we have two cluster performance histories and we have two mm -hmm. cluster performance history SR log. Mm -hmm. And this is our first stretched volume because mm -hmm. uh, the cluster performance history is also a bit important. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft creates a stretched cluster performance history volume mm -hmm. um, that can be present on both sides. And uh, mm -hmm. we, will, we will see later um, with the other stretched volumes how we do that. Yeah? Maybe you want to, do you want to show failover cluster manager for who is owner of what log? Of of course, we can do that, but first let me mm -hmm. add the cluster. Mm -hmm. And if you are attentive, uh, you would maybe think he already added the cluster to uh, Windows Admin Center. That's true, but Windows Admin Center did not pick up did... the uh, storage stuff we did afterwards. So that's why you removed it. And now you are yes. taking it back into it in order to refresh the, um, the, uh, uh, the logic. Yeah, this is still the wrong disk is still wrong i removed it yeah. i restarted the service you're missing yeah. the volumes right yeah i'm missing the volumes and it's not disks it's devices mm -hmm. yes so here we have to do something with windows admin center remove it again maybe reboot mm -hmm. the host and the management host and then 
uh, yeah. So we don't have volumes, we don't have disks, mm, okay, uh, yeah. devices. This would be the CSV disks of a standard Hyper-V cluster. But mm -hmm. let's have a look here. Yeah, you okay. wanted to mm -hmm. see the owner of the storage mm -hmm. volume. So we have them on the disks. Mm -hmm. If we look here, these okay. are our volume names. So mm -hmm. we have our cluster performance history. Mm -hmm. And we have another history with a, let's say, GUID, two GUIDs, right? Yeah, so you have the cluster virtual disk, which is originally, or at least, you know, it's it's being owned by node number one, and it's being replicated to node number two, right? So we, that's making sense, yeah, right? One. So we are replicating it from one side to the other. Um, so you see it also here as source and destination. So we have the arrow is pointing from odd to even. Mm -hmm. um, and for doing this, I mean, from the previous videos we did, how we explained how the synchronous uh, replication works, you need to have two log files. And this is, um, uh, these are the bottom ones, right? So one log file on the source and one on the destination. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Um, so if there is more information in the mm -hmm. fail of a cluster manager, but, but first the word of advice, uh, you mm -hmm. can use it to look at the stuff um, but don't use it to create the, the replication. Um, for that, Windows Admin Center is very nice. And yeah. um, look here at the information, fine, mm -hmm. but don't don't play around here. Yeah, because the yeah. fail of a cluster manager is not really the right tool for that. There, yes, there. The uh, you need to follow right order and. Um, yeah, maybe it's a little bit misleading, um, and I think and and I agree, it's easier doing when using Windows Admin Center for this. But I think um, we are going to fix our Windows Admin Center issues first. Maybe not in this video, but we will we'll fix it and then do the creation of the volumes in the next video. Or is there exactly. anything else that you want to show in this one? No, so far okay. we are fine.